I'm Danny K. White. I'm the author of Decluttering at the Speed of Life. I'm here today to talk about donate boxes. What makes a good one? And also, all the freedom that you have to use whatever you want for a donate box. So just to be clear, this is an overthinker's problem for sure. So I'm here for the overthinkers, the ones of us who maybe feel or have felt at different times uh, overwhelmed by stuff and clutter and don't feel like it could ever be that easy. And so we tend to overcomplicate things and think I have to do this just perfect or it's not going to work. So today is just to kind of go over that. So the key to a donate box, this was the game changer for me. Key to a donate box is that it needs to be donatable. Okay. The box itself needs to leave my house along with the stuff that's inside of it for two reasons. First of all, if the box itself is going to leave my house, I never have to go back through it again, which means I'm not going to end up second guessing my donations and pulling them out of there. Okay. If I make a super cute little stenciled box or tub for donations that I'm like, Oh, I'm going to stick these in here. Cause this is what I use when I declutter. And then I have to actually transfer that stuff into another container to get it out of my house. Then I have the chance to second guess. But the other reason is related to that in that when I don't give myself the chance to second guess, it means that when I put something in the donate box, it is a real actual final decision. Okay. It's its final destination. Yes. The box itself has to go to the donation place, but I've already made a final decision and I've acted on that final decision, which is the key to my no mess decluttering process. Okay. When I put something in that box, if I know that I'm going to go through it later, it is way too tempting for me to think, okay, really? I don't know what I want to do with this, but I'm going to stick it in there in that donate box. Cause I know I'm going to have to go back through it later to put it in the actual thing. It's going to leave my house inside of. And then, um, I put all this pressure on future me that, you know, I'll know later. I don't know right now, but I'll know later what I'm going to do with it. Instead, I use my process, which forces myself to make final decisions, leads me through that. I where you know, I determine where I would look for this item first. I go ahead. I take it to that space. Now I face the reality of that space, or I determine that it's actually something that needs to leave my house as a donation. And then it goes straight into the donate box and that's done. Okay. So the box itself has to be donatable, right? No temporary boxes. But a donate box can be anything that holds stuff that's going to leave my house and go to the donation place along with whatever is inside of it. Okay. So keys here are, I am going to label my donate box because y'all, I cannot tell you how many times, especially after having moved that I, uh, started a donate box, didn't clearly label it as donate and then had to look back through it uh, to determine, wait, was this a moving box or a donate box? But if it's labeled donate, then I know, okay, I don't ever have to look in that box again. I know that stuff just needs to go to the donation place. Okay. Or I can use anything. So some examples of things that could be donatable donate boxes that aren't actually boxes, right? Um, if I'm donating a suitcase or a bag, I can put other stuff inside of it. As long as it holds things, it can go. This is going to be a donation thing for me. It's this humongous bag. I think, I, I think I ordered cause I thought it was going to be easier. Um, I think I ordered a wedding shower gift. And when Amazon said, do you want us to wrap it for you? I was like, yes. And then they sent me a gift that was about this big and this humongous bag. So I had to end up wrapping it myself anyway, cause it looked kind of ridiculous anyway, but this is a donate bag now, a donate box now, right? Okay. Um, things that you were bedding comes in. Okay. I had some bedding show up, show up. I ordered some bedding that came in this. It's a great little container for that. Um, bags, free bags that you get for all sorts of different reasons. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's my favorite one. A 
storage container that you've emptied out because you've been decluttering, right? Like I hear from you all the time, same thing has happened to me, that I'm like, oh, I've been decluttering and it turns out I didn't need all the storage containers that I thought I needed back when I thought I was supposed to organize and in reality I was supposed to be decluttering and I have storage bins that actually need to go. Well, guess what? They all become their own wonderful little donate box. The thing I would do on these, that's why I have my tape here, is to, especially with stuff like this, okay, I would mark it with tape to make sure that you remember this is donations, okay? Ideally too though, that's one of the reasons we wanna get those donations out as quickly and as often as possible because then they're gone and I don't have to think about it anymore, okay? When it sits there and waits, that's when it can become, you know, difficult. Uh, this dresser, or is it a chest of drawers? Is the dresser the bigger, flatter one, longer? I don't know, whatever. Anyway, this, uh, I'm not donating it, but if I was donating it, then I could put stuff inside of it. Not a lot, because I don't want it to be heavy and more difficult to move, but anything that holds stuff, as long as it is leaving my house along with the donations that are inside of it, is a donate box, bag, anything, whatever, a pillowcase. Um, oh, just last week, I donated a bunch of shoes inside of a laundry basket that was basically in perfect condition. And I had realized, oh, we actually don't need that laundry basket. That happens to a lot of you. When you get laundry under control, you realize, oh, I don't need all these holding spaces for laundry. That's what happened to me. I used to have tons of laundry baskets. Now I have one. And somehow I ended up with a second one. And then I realized over time, yeah, I don't need the second one. I really, really don't. So. Uh, it went away with stuff inside of it. And so the laundry basket was a donation too, along with the stuff that was in it. So I know, like I said, it's an overthinking problem for sure. Those of you who don't struggle with this stuff are like, who has to think that much about this stuff? We do. People like me, we do, because I hear it from people. And I've also heard from people who told me it was so freeing when I realized, oh, wait a minute, so anything can be a donation box. I don't have to go, oh goodness, I've got to collect boxes to donate. Anything that's gonna leave your house that can hold stuff, that both the, the container itself and the stuff is gonna be donated, you're good. That's a donation box. All right, I hope this was helpful. I will talk to you later.